human life is itself a grand stage play of trials and errors created for the education, enrichment, and spiritual evolution of the human race. Every one of us on the path of spiritual awakening had, at some point, the overwhelming realization that we have only a very limited time in our earthly incarnations and that we suffer from having no clear answers to the core existential questions of our earthly life. Who are we? How did we get here? Why are we here? Do we, as humanity, have a greater purpose to this lifetime, something we meant to accomplish such as evolve to something higher? Are there higher abilities and potentials dormant within us? If so, how do these powers abilities get activated? Or are we all just what the atheists claim simply a biological machine? an accidental and meaningless mixture of chemicals and cluster cells with only the illusion of being conscious, with no existence before birth or after death, no spirit, no greater purpose or potential at all? Materialism, our matrix world, has robbed humanity of its hope, of its purpose, of the keys to the greater spiritual knowledge which was gathered together by our ancestors and great masters. The answers to these questions are what the keys of Solomon can provide for us, the restoration of the essential knowledge of what it is to be an enlightened human being, to know our true nature, to rediscover our real potential and our unlimited dynamic possibilities to become so much more than what we are right now. There is a great saying found in many of the Eastern and Western esoteric mystery traditions, which resonates with so much truth behind it. It goes something like this. In the beginning was the memory, the mind. Everything was, is, and forever will be all pure mind. To understand the meaning of the saying, we need to see the patterns which were known to the ancients as the flow of forgetfulness and the flow of remembrance. The flow of forgetfulness means that every time our soul reincarnates into a new physical body, we have a new form which does not hold inside of its brain the memories of our previous reincarnations and how to access our higher abilities. These memories are encoded instead within the structures of our subtle system, which is known as the sephirot, uh, the chakras and our seven bodies of energy and consciousness which stay with us throughout multiple reincarnations. These memories are not in the physical body which degenerates after every lifetime, as the saying goes, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. On the path of spiritual awakening, we can perform essential types of exercises which allow us to overcome the flow of forgetfulness and to take what was known as the flow of remembrance to begin to remember who we are, why are we here, and how to unleash our abilities, powers which are dormant within us all. The meditations using the Keys of Solomon are tools and vehicles to awaken the latent abilities powers in every human being, which is our mind power, in order to manifest our desired life outcomes. In other words, awaken our ability to perform mental alchemy and have it take form in our physical reality. First, we have to quiet what is referred to in the East as the monkey mind chatter, that constant hyperactivity of our minds stuck in loops which only exhausts us and brings no peace or meaning to our lives. 
Overcoming the monkey mind chatter is done through a detached and clear mind where we learn to focus on that still silent gap which lies between the thoughts of the internal chatter. Our thoughts then become conscious, fused, and calm instead of running wild and out of control. The clear mind practices then lead to the mindfulness practices where we use our clear mind power to be fully present and really observe the true nature of our own thinking, our feelings, and our actions in the world. This state is called the detached witness. It is in this state that our conscious mind, when focused on the Kisa Solomon, begins to decode their inherent nature, which is found in the unconscious mind, and it manifest the powers of our inner abilities using the keys of Solomon as a utility vehicle. This is the real and true meaning of mental alchemy. We then see and experience the reality of everything around us rather than distorting everything through our own filters and projections which further distort our ability to manifest the powers latent within us via the keys of Solomon. Once we have harnessed our divine mind power through the clear mind and then through mindfulness practices, we can then enter into the deeper spiritual practices. These deeper spiritual practices, such as the awakening of the Kundalini energy, were known and practiced by the ancients to awaken our subtle bodies, which hold the memories of our previous lifetimes and the knowledge of our core spiritual essence. This knowledge of our core spiritual essence then becomes the fuel to bring the keys of Solomon to life. Just as we need the sense organs of our physical body to perceive the physical world around us through sight, hearing, smell, etc., so too we need to use our mindfulness applied to our own subtle bodies to create new organs of spiritual perception, which in turn activate our inner abilities using the keys of Solomon as the utility tool. In time, this allows us to start perceiving the invisible worlds of energy and consciousness which create the physical world and which connect us to higher realms of existence where the keys of Solomon have their source. With this in mind, we can now enter into the meditation to experience the deeper sacred patterns of the Keys of Solomon, which will help to attract or evoke not only their source and attributes, but to use the Keys of, to amplify our already inherent abilities to manifest our desired reality using the Keys of Solomon as the conduits. This is how mental alchemy comes to life and takes form in this physical realm.
you like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting our work by visiting the Zen Shadows website at www.zenshadows.com. It is a rapidly growing clothing line designed by Ava and myself to enhance the meditative experience. So the seeker, the practitioner will actually embody by wearing the symbol that they're meditating upon on their clothes as themselves on themselves and this way the meditative process the alchemical process gets internalized and it does really work in terms of enhancing the meditation so with that being said check this out Very smoothly. My arms just slip through very easily. It's very beautifully designed. And it's very comfortable. You can wear it anywhere. You can sleep with it. So thank you guys uh, so much for joining us here. This was a small taste of things to come. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave your comments and questions as well. We read them all. Um, best of luck, stay safe, stay connected, and we'll see you guys in the next video.